Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Thursday, May the 3rd with the Gold, Silver, and Stock Report. Uh, this is the GLD. This is gold. Uh, had a nasty day today, down a little over 1%. Uh, second gap down in a row, taking out this red line, the 21-day moving average, on a pickup in volume and heavy volume. So not not a great sign here. Uh, we do have support uh, right below here. It kind of got down to it here. This is the lower Bollinger Band, this gray area. You can probably barely see that on your monitor. But uh, that came in and offered up a little bit of support at the 158.06 level, 158.06. Uh, we closed at 158.97. Uh, we had gotten up uh, here on, um, I believe it was Tuesday, um, got over this channel line here and got stopped here uh, right close to this uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. And you can see that the 50 and the 100 are converging here. Looks like the 50-day is going to cross below the 100. Um, it was just called a black cross, um, not a great sign. Um, uh, momentum on the 50 is down, and so is well all the all the moving averages. Uh, the momentum is down. The 21, uh, the uh, 100, the 200 is up, but we're way down below that. So gold uh, looking a, a bit weak here. Perhaps we'll come down here, find some support uh, at the 157.76 area, the previous break low here. Um, if not, uh, the next stop down is the lower channel line, all the way down here at about the 153 level. So still stuck in this channel to the downside. Uh, don't like the heavy volume on the drop here. As far as trading goes, I'd stay away from uh, the GLD if you don't have a position on it. And um, shorting is very difficult, uh, especially uh, after you've had uh, you know this big drop and all that. So um, stay on the sidelines is my opinion. And another ugly day for silver. This is the SLV. And uh, it, too, is stuck in a downward sloping channel, more of a wedge to the downside. And it did come on a pickup in volume, uh, this drop. Uh, second uh, gap down in a row for silver as well. This one really looks like it's headed to the lower channel line at about the 2850 level. Um, you can see the uh, volume was not uh, um, you know, just about average here, but it was a pickup in volume. Second distribution day in a row. That means that when volume uh, to the downside was heavier than the previous day. So two distribution days in a row on the SLV. Stay away from that one too. And moving on now to stocks. This is the uh, NASDAQ composite index closing right on its 50-day moving average. Getting support there. Uh, it did come up on a, on a pickup in volume and heavy volume. This was a distribution day. And uh, this was our first day of, of real distribution since breaking out uh, here. Uh, and following through, that means confirming a new rally to the upside on, August, on, on um, April the 25th. So um, this is our first significant uh, downside um, action here. Uh, but uh, getting support here at the convergence of the red line and the blue line, the 21 and the 50-day moving averages. So finding support here so far. Uh, we did have a couple days of heavy, heavy buying here. Uh, followed by a day of heavy selling. So uh, we're just kind of in a neutral zone here. Um, let's hope that uh, the 50-day moving average does provide more support. Should that fail, uh, our next support will come down here at the lower Bollinger Band, which is at about the 2962 uh, level, 2962.90. So 2963, really. Now, Bollinger Bands is a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95% of the time. So as you can see, it has prov uh, proved to be a barrier both to the uh, upside and to the downside. A lot of traders watch this. So um, let's see what happens with the NASDAQ. Moving on now to the S&P 500. This is the SPY. Uh, had a down day too, about uh, uh, three quarters of a percent down. On a pickup in volume, distribution over here also, uh, just about average volume. Uh, but above the key moving averages here, above the 21 and, and the 50. And uh, getting support right here on this gray line, which is the 10 day moving average. So, um, you know, the, the uh, uh, S&P 500 going through a normal pullback here. So uh, right now, uh, we are in a confirmed rally in stocks and definitely uh, moving to the downside in the precious metals. So thanks for listening and uh, good luck trading.